everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you could join us today because today we are doing a pup in a cup hop. Now this is a hashtag driven hop. So what does that mean? You'll see in the title a hashtag N2S pup in a cup. So click on that hashtag and all the videos in this hop will pop up. There you can start from the top, work your way down, however you want to do it. But the more videos you watch and leave a comment on, the greater your chance of winning a prize. Because I'm going to take each video and have a finalist from each video. So I'll have a finalist from each video and then we'll put all the finalists in um, a giveaway and then we will pick one winner to win a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby. So. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy this hop and get lots of inspiration on how to use my new stamp set, Pup in a Cup. Now this stamp set has a lot of sentiments. They're buildable, they're super fun, and you can use the stamp set all year round. So we got this little Pup in a Cup, and what's nice about it is you can color up the pup to look like different breeds. So if you want to want him to look like a pug. I have some perfect sentiments for that. We've got Pugachino, Pugs and Kisses. You can color him as a boxer, um, a bulldog, a Rottweiler. Let me give you some examples. So here's a card that I did and I colored him up as a boxer and I think it looks really cute. I put a little bow on his head and use little hearts for embellishments. This one I colored it up to look like a pug and I used the little polka dots that come in the stamp set. And this one I colored up to look like a Rottweiler and this one I did paper piecing. And this one I colored up just to look like um, just a puppy, a dog. I didn't really have a breed in mind when I colored him up. But I did no line coloring on this one and I love the way that looked. So after my video, you can go ahead and hop on over to the next person um, in the hop and enjoy the inspiration. So there's lots of sentiments I could use. We've got, you warm my heart. Let's see, a Pugachino a day keeps the grumpy away. I heart coffee and dogs, hello, for someone sweet, smile, it's a pup in a cup, happy birthday, hang in there, hi, um, puppy latte, I think I want to use I heart pugs and coffee for my sentiment. I'll color this guy up to look like a pug. Um, this hop will end in one week. You can click the subscribe button so you get notification when my giveaway winner video will be out. Or you can click the bell. That will also give you a notification when I get a new video up. So what I want to do for my card is stamp out two pup in a cups at the bottom of my panel here. So I'm going to stamp two of these guys out. Okay, so we have one. We're gonna put the second one right next to him. Okay, that looks good. I want my sentiment up here at the top. I forgot to show you this card. This is another one that I made that was really cute. I loved the little hearts. So all I did was turn the hearts different ways to make a pattern. So Let's decide what we're going to do with this one. So I want to build my sentiment to say, I heart pugs and coffee. I'm going to stamp out my sentiment in this versifying Claire. So I do want him to look like pugs since I have, I love, I heart pugs and coffee. So we're going to color up, um, we'll do a black pug and then a brown and black pug. So the brown and black pugs, um, they usually have like this black um, mask. So I'm just going to map in uh, where I want this black mask to be. 
so I don't color over it. So his little lips or his cheeks, his lips are going to be black as well and his ears. So I'm just going with my lightest gray color so I remember those are going to be my black areas. So I picked out some browns. We could do E35, E33, and E11. I'm just starting with the E35. And I'm just putting down where I want the darkest colors to be. My E33, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm just going to color up one of the pups with you guys. Um, I do have a lot of coloring videos if you're interested in that on my channel. But since this is a hop, I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm just going to share a little bit of this coloring. Since this card is mostly just coloring, um, we won't have to do much embellishing. So we got E11. I'm just making sure I'm blending all the colors as I go along here. Let's bring up this E11. So let's do the black. I got W7. I'm going to use that as my darkest. So I want um, him to have black ears. So I'm just outlining basically his ear here. I want his nose to be black, so I will do that as well. And then his cheeks. And his lips. So we'll move on to W5 and blend this out. Blend these two colors together. And then I want in between his eyes to be the darkest. So I'm going to put some W5 there. We'll blend that out with the W3. And blend out these little cheeks. We'll go back with his little cheeks in a bit. Darken them up a little bit more. But first let's finish up his ears. I'll fast forward on the other dog so this video isn't too long for you. Oh, I forgot the side of his eyes here. Okay, so let's go back with that W5 and I'm just going to swipe up a little bit here to darken up those cheeks. Okay, for the inside of his mouth I like to use E04. I'm going to go ahead and do this other little guy. I think this E04 is just the perfect color for the inside of the mouth. We'll add some highlights to his eyes, and I did forget his nose, didn't I? So let's use W5 to fill that in. So we can dress his face up with a jelly roll pen. I like to use this one here. And then give him little freckles on his cheeks. And I like to do little round circles. It kind of looks like little foamy bubbles. And then I just blend it out with this E00. Okay. And I like to leave a little bit of white space. And then if I 
didn't leave enough, I could get this white jelly roll pen and just do some little dots. Help those highlights shine. You can make polka dots on your cups. In the stamp set, there is a circle and a half circle, and those you can use those to make polka dots. In the half circle, you can use that for the area. I like to do little um, shading right here on his eyelids. Jenny from Cutie Patootie Crafts colored up the, the logo for this digitally, and she did added this little heart three times on the sleeve, and I thought that looked so cute, so I want to do that for this card. So to do that, I'm going to mask off the sides. So I'll stamp the middle first and then do the sides. I think that would go perfect with the little I Heart Pugs and Coffee theme here. So we'll stamp out the first one. We'll do the second one going off the end here. We'll take our mask, move it over. Make sure you're up to that line. Oh, isn't that cute? So we'll do that on our other pup here. Oh, that's so cute. So I'm thinking of what color should I color the cup? Maybe teal. I love how red and teal look together. Okay, so I picked out my teal for the cup BG18, BG15, and BG23. going to use E37, E35, and E33. Okay, and now for my red. So I've got our 89, R29, R27, and R24. So here's our cute pup. I'm going to play some music. We're going to fast forward through the coloring. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the hop and good luck on the giveaway. So I cut my panel out with a wonky stitch die. This is from Avery L. And then I matted it on a polka dot piece of paper. And I want to finish off my card with a little bit of glossy accents on the hearts. So I hope you guys enjoy the hop and get lots of inspiration on how to use the pup in a cup. I'd love to hear your feedback on the comments down below. Have you been playing around with your cup? I'm not going to do the hearts down here because I'm just afraid I might mess it up because my nozzle is clogged up. Here is my card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thanks for hopping along with us and I will catch you real soon. Bye guys!